Hi everyone, SK here, back again with another video, and today I'm super excited to finally be doing the unboxing of the Series 3 of the My Hero Academia Pops, Funko Pop, the bleh, words fail me, Funko Pop Collection. Now, I will be doing an unboxing of all of these standard edition pops, as the ones you can see on the back here, except Izuku Midoriya, because not a single store that I have been able to find has actually already got him in, but they have received every other pop on this collection. I do have him pre-ordered. I will be getting him by the end of the month, and I will be uploading a video of him as well, so stay tuned for that, as well as a bunch of exclusive My Hero Academia Funko Pops. Alrighty. Well, starting this off, we're going to jump straight into it with Ojiro, or I'm going to butcher this, Aijiro Kirishima. I'm probably just going to say their last names because I'm going to butcher the first names. Alrighty, let's go and get this started. Now, let me know down in the comment section below. Actually, let me look around the box. I'm sorry. I normally look around the box, but I'm getting excited with these here. There is the front of the box there for Kirishima, or Red Riot. There is a good look at the side, the back, with the rest of the pops that we're going to be unboxing, except this guy here, which I'm really upset they didn't get him in. I was really looking forward to doing a video with all, um, all seven of them. And then the side there. Alrighty. Oh, and the top. Don't forget to let me know down in the comment section below, everyone, what is your favorite My Hero Academia Funko Pop? My personal favorite is actually the Stain and Dobby Funko Pops, which I will be uploading a video for in a couple of days. And I just am super excited about getting the rest of these. I haven't really been too interested in a lot of pop collections recently. When I saw these, I just had to pick them up. Alrighty, taking a quick look at the front here. You'll see some really nice design here on Kirishima. There is the side. The back. The other side. The top. And the bottom. Alrighty, and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to sit them off to the side as I do the videos. And in my previous My Hero Academia video, I just did cuts, but I'm going to do this all in one take. So if, excuse me, if I mix up my words a little bit, or if I jumble up stuff a little bit, just kind of bear with me here. Alrighty, the next pop we're going to be unboxing is Momo Yayorozu, which is My Hero Academia 605. There is the side of the box there. The back, the other side, and the top. Now, Yayorozu is one of my favorite, my personal favorite female characters next to Suyu, which I really like that character a lot. Oh wow, they put her in like a clamshell case going on right here. Ah, don't run from me. Bad plastic. <laughs> Okay, and she does also have a stand, which this one goes where? In the front of her boots? Oh, well, yeah, butchering it right here. Okay, there we go. Alrighty, now taking a quick look at the front of the Momo Pop. Well, you can definitely see on the front there. Anybody, ain't nobody got to point that out. But um, there is a quick look at the front there. The side. The back. The other side. The top. And the bottom. All righty. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one. Get this plastic out of here. There we go. And next up, we have All for One, My Hero Academia 609. Let's a quick look at the front there. The side. 
the back, the other side, and the top. Now, for anyone who hasn't got into uh, My Hero Academia yet, I highly recommend it. And I have, ooh, I didn't want to come out easy. I have personally been a Funimation Now subscriber for the past couple of years, and that is how I watch the vast majority of my anime, at least ones that are through Funimation. And it, I just absolutely enjoy it, and it is the best way, in my personal opinion, to watch My Hero Academia subbed and dubbed, because they do simul dub. But let's go ahead and take a quick look at the front here. This one looks so nice. I love how they did the coloring on his helmet. That is awesome. Then at the side here, that looks sweet. The back. The other side. The top. And the bottom. Now let's sit him off to the side right here. Will he stand up? Yes, he is very wobbly there. Okay, moving on to the next one. We have number 608, Silver Age All Might. Now, the only pop that I may not be doing a unboxing on will be the Barnes & Noble All Might Metallic. That pop is, has already... It's not even out yet, and people are already trying to sell that thing for crazy amounts of money. Huh, he has a stand already on him. That's kind of neat. This one's really nice. Alrighty, taking a quick look at the front here, you can see really nice detail there on All Might's old costume. Now, I believe this is the one that they showed off in the Two Heroes movie. This was a very, very good movie as well. Taking a quick look at the other side here. The back. The other side, the top, and the bottom. Let's see how he looks standing up. Very nice. That is a big pop. I don't know if y'all can see it here. Like There is All Might, and there is Kirishima. It's about a whole inch or so, about half an inch to an inch taller than Kirishima. But of course, I mean, All Might, you got to make it a bigger pop for the big guy. Alrighty. Now, we, next we have All Might Teacher. This is pop number 604. Take a look around the side here. The back. The other side. And the top. Okay. There we go. That one didn't want to come out right away at first. This one does not have a stand. Set the plastic to the side there. I'm running out of counter space. <laughs> Alrighty. That one is a very cool pop as well. You can see a lot of detail there on the front of the pop. You got his little shirt buttons and everything there. And you have the side there. The back. The other side. The top. And the bottom. Alrighty, we are going on to the last one that I have at the moment. Which is the... Fumikage Tokoyami. Which is one of the... Coolest quirks I think I have personally ever seen in My Hero Academia. The Dark Shadow quirk is just absolutely awesome. But for anyone who watches it, you know, big payoff if he can control it. If he cannot, as we've all seen, if you've watched the anime, you know that does not end well. <laughs> Alrighty. Another one of these little clamshell cases here. There's no stand with this one. It doesn't look like it. 
Nope, no stand, just a giant pop. This one is absolutely awesome. You can see a good look at Tokoyami there. A dark shadow. That is so cool. I like the, this just feeling of dark shadow, how he's, it's almost like there's cracks going through him. That is so awesome. You can see a little bit of like discoloration with the paint there where it got scuffed up, but that is just so cool. I don't even care, to be honest, because all of these are going straight at pop protectors after I'm done recording this video. Alrighty, well, there we have it. That is all of the Series 3 My Hero Academia Funko Pops unboxed in one video like I was really wanting to do. I still hate that I couldn't get Deku, but stay tuned for that. I will be getting the Deku Pop shortly. Or Izuku Midoriya, however they want to put it. Well, as always, if you enjoyed these types of videos, please make sure to give the video a thumbs up. It's much appreciated and really helps out the channel. Also, if you don't mind, maybe subscribe. And if you do, don't forget to hit that little bell to stay up to date with all my future videos. Thank you all, and everyone have a good one.